All right, YouTube family, I'm on the way home from work. Man, it's a rough day at work, but got to make it do what it do, man. Got to make it do what it do. Now, I'm hearing Joe Rogan just told Bloody Elbow his contract is up in August and there's a strong possibility it won't get renewed. Now, I called this before. I said it before. Because he and Dana White had a falling out. Because I think Joe Rogan had made a comment and part of my language, I try to keep this, my channel PG-13, he had made a comment about Cyborg having a penis because she used steroids, something to the effect that her shillabang is bigger than his and everybody else in the room at the time whoever was there. So... That was like one strike against him. Coupled with some other things. Uh, it, it was a snafu when he was talking to Ronda, Ronda Rousey and asked her about an upcoming fight and um, went on air live and said that a fight had fell through. But that wasn't his fault. That was the um, producers in the back that was feeding him information through his earpiece. So... According to him, Dana White wasn't mad at him at that time. But ever since the incident with the Schlawang and the Cyborg, and then recently he said Jose Aldo was on steroids and that type of stuff, then he had to come back and give an apology. Now, notice that in Brazil, he wasn't ringside doing any interviews. And that's because UFC is catching on that you got to to, to brand the event in the country that it is in in is in as if it was always there. It's kind of like red striped beer. It's, if you're in Jamaica, that's what you drink. Guinness too. Anyways, point I'm trying to make is that those things I believe got Joe Rogan in, in trouble, and he and Dana White hashed it out. You know, but I think that was like okay. Now there's some problems when you start talking about. You know, females having male genitalia and that type of stuff. They start saying that the fighters are on steroids. Now I don't know if they are. If they are. And then he's made a couple of comments on his Rogan show about people in the UFC juicing and that type of stuff. So as a commentator, he's a cool dude. He gives. He'll comment. He'll do whatever. When he's on the UFC doing his commentary, he's professional. But I guess when he goes on his show, the Rogan Hour, and, and smoke a couple of those good mushrooms or whatever it is that he puts in his bong, that's when the problem starts. And he starts letting the truth out and let loose. He even brought some shills on. Well, I, if you're like me who live in the mountains, I'll tell you what a shill is. It's a person that disseminates fake information. They do um, cover up. If you post something on the internet contradictory to what the UFC says, then a shill will be that one person in the chat room will say, oh, the UFC fighters always get good paid. It's like a team of propaganda specialists. So he brought some of them on his show and exposed them, that type of stuff. So, so I suspect he's been hot water with, with the UFC a long while. So, I'm not surprised that they're not going to renew his contract. I'm hoping that they do because he's been with the UFC a long time. And he's also said that if it doesn't get renewed, it's no big deal. He has other stuff he can do. But I'm going to keep an eye on this. I suspect that they'll work something out to keep Joe Rogan there. Because if, if, who, who would they get to replace Joe Rogan? Hmm. I don't know. Because... Joe Rogan, no, I'm not a Rogan fan. Everybody knows that. We, I disagree with him a lot. But the thing is that he has his own fan base that will watch UFC wins and UFC fights because of him. So he has, he has his own fan base and his own podcast. He has his own following that he brings to the UFC also. So you cut him loose, and if it's not done properly, his fans could get ticked off and say, you know what, we're not going to, we, 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 we just had enough of the UFC. 
you know fans get attached to the heroes so you gotta just i'm going on that bridge so you gotta be careful of how you treat them all right guys that's my two cents on the fight here the fight mobile actually and i'm headed down to get home now hopefully i get to this holiday traffic peace out